Good morning, Pastor Larry Allison here, uh, Gospel Light Free Will Baptist Bonterre. And uh, as always, we're sure glad you've joined us this morning uh, for our Daily with God Bible study, our devotion time. And this week we are looking uh, at Jesus Christ, uh, the Son of God, the Savior. Mary had a little lamb, a lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. And we, we have seen uh, yesterday, we saw this sacrificial lamb, the Lord Jesus, how he was a spotless lamb. He was perfect in every way, um, making him absolutely the only one that could pay the price for our sins. Um, we've all sinned. We've all come short of the glory of God. There's none righteous, no, not one. And there's not one of us on planet Earth that's capable of paying a sin debt because we are sinners. But Christ Jesus, he absolutely was the perfect lamb in, in every way. Uh, this morning, I want you to see he was also the submissive lamb, <clears throat> the submissive lamb. Uh, I mean, Jesus was not forced into this role. It, it was the will of God the Father to send his son. But I want you to understand uh, it was a submission of the son, Jesus, that, that brought all this to pass, uh, the pl perfect plan of salvation for humanity, uh, the forgiveness of sin, uh, restoration, uh, reconciliation with God, and the promise of heaven. Aren't you glad you're saved today? <laughs> Amen? I mean, Jesus made all that available for us this morning. He is the submissive land. According to Matthew 26, 53, he could have called down 12 legions of angels, <clears throat> but rather he did one thing. He was submissive to that death on the cross. Jesus was the submissive lamb. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 53, and I'm going to read verse 7. Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 7. Here's what the old prophet said. Uh, he said this, He was oppressed, speaking of Jesus, prophetically looking toward the Lord Jesus dying for our sins. It says he was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. Notice, he is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He did not fight it. He did not argue against it. He did not try to talk his way out of it. Listen, Jesus, the Son of God, was absolutely submissive. Not only was he perfect in every way, the spotless lamb, but he was the submissive lamb in every way. Uh, he spent some time there in the Garden of Gethsemane. We're getting ready to go to the cross and die for sin. And we know it was even there. He was praying, if there be some way this cup pass. And it, it was not just the cup of dying. For many had died prior to him. Many had died a horrible crucifixion on the Roman crosses. He was not alone in, in that type of a death. But the cup that he was talking about was the cup of paying for our sins, taking our sins, the sins of the world, upon him. Uh, can you imagine the sinless, spotless, perfect Son of God hanging on a cross, dying for our sins? He did not deserve that. I deserve that. And you deserve that. And, and listen, so he was the submissive lamb in every way. And, of course, that brings it to the point where he was the sacrificed lamb. They literally took his life on the cross of Calvary. I mean, everything else uh, meant nothing uh, unless this part was fulfilled. Uh, Jesus could have came, raised the dead, healed the sick, gave the sight to the blind, uh, healed the lepers, uh, gave great parables, and just ascended right on up into heaven and the plan would not have been accomplished. Uh, the will of God would not have been complete. He came to die for our sins. He came to be our sacrifice. He was the sacrificial lamb that came to die for sin. It, was, it wasn't enough that Jesus was so sinless. It wasn't enough that he was surrendered. He had to suffer and die, just as the scriptures tell us. He had to be sacrificed. When Jesus died that, that cruel death on the cross of, uh, of Calvary, 
Uh, I mean, it was like a huge billboard uh, advertising the awesome love of God for hum humanity. I mean, all for er all sinners to see. Romans 5, 8, but God commendeth his love toward us, toward you and me. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So he absolutely was the sacrificial lamb, uh, paying our sin debt in full. They didn't take his life from him. Jesus literally gave his life. The father gave his son. What a gift. The son gave his life. What submission. What love. What a sacrifice. And so I want you to understand this willingly. Without argument, he laid down his life and paid our sin debt in full. I don't think we ought to ever get over that. Do you? I, I don't think we ought to ever get over the fact that God loved us that much. Even though we was uh, in the depths of sin, living in sin, bound by our sins. One day we was apt to surely die in our sins and go to a devil's hell without Christ, sinless, hopeless in every way. And yet Christ loved me that much, that much. He paid the awesome penalty for sin by giving himself. Oh, uh, listen, we that are Christians, don't you ever get over that. Don't you ever get over the cross. Don't you ever get over the high cost of our salvation. Uh, there's that song, uh, Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. And that is absolutely the truth. Uh, because of the cost of your salvation, because of the sacrificial death of the Lamb, the Lamb of God, that came to take away the sins of the world, we, we are in debt to him completely. You can't out-love him. You can't out-serve him. You sure can't out-give him. I, I mean, we owe him everything, for without him, we would be hopeless. Thank God for salvation today through Jesus, the submissive lamb, and the sacrificial lamb. Pray with me. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. And I'm so thankful, Lord, that you look down upon us, looking forward into eternity. And you saw us in our sins. You saw our hopelessness. You saw our helplessness. And through the Lord Jesus Christ, you provided a plan for our salvation. God, we thank you for your amazing love and your amazing grace. Thankful for Jesus, who submitted himself completely and gave himself in payment for our sin. Lord, let us never get over that. Let us keep that excitement in our heart for the love of God and the grace of God and, Lord, the mercy that you showed each one of us. Now, Lord, bless everyone that's watching, watching, meet every need they might have today, and we'll thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You have a good day. Hope we see you in the morning.